Hey there viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. That's a 2006 Ford Freestyle. These front brakes. I honestly have no idea if that's how people who drive freestyle say it, but that's how I envision it. So we're going to yank the caliper off. And then the bracket. 13 millimeters is what we'll need here. Whoa, fella. Da -da -da. Stick them up there. And we're going to have to give this a little bit of a pull. Pull towards you. We just got to get them pistons to compress a little bit in there. Otherwise, there's a couple ears on the, on the pad, on the inner pad, and they're going to hook on that piston. And if you pry up on it, you'll bust the pistons because they're phenolic, a.k.a. plastic resin. Somebody's going to go nuts with how I said that. But let's, uh, let's get a little prying device. Well, that's okay. We're not too worried. Because if all it takes is my mispronunciation of words to ruin somebody's day, well, I think they've got bigger issues. So like I was saying, let's get this inner pad. Wow, just in the nick of time. You got it just in time. These are the little nipples on the back of the pad. And if you pry that piston up, it catches the edge of it. Take a chance of cracking it. <coughs> so like I said, you can see how close that one was, how close that one is. What's that tell us? We probably have a seized caliper pin. That's my guess. That one's good. That one's not good. Go figure. So typically, you'll have nice even wear inner and outer, but if your caliper pins seize, it can no longer utilize this outside pad. It can just use you know, the piston because your caliper is going to be locked in one place piston comes out and it's just going to burn that inner pad up. It's not going to allow the piston to, you know, float and apply even pressure. So uh, keep that in mind. We'll hang this baby on a hook. After we push the pistons back in here, we'll make sure this caliper is good before we get too far. We will be using our double donger piston pushback tool. Link's going to be in the description for the majority of the tools used here. We just want to make sure them pistons move in nice and freely. Use a couple C clamps if you got them. All right, so they're pushed in. Now we've got a little bit of a little bit of air around this boot. You can see how she's kind of hanging out there. So, what are you gonna do? Whoa! We're gonna get a screwdriver and a magnet because it was stuck to it in the drawer. And we're gonna very gingerly keep your little screwdriver pointed at the piston. We're gonna work it. We're gonna find the little lip in here where it hooks on. We're going to get underneath it, open it up a little bit, and boom, the air comes out. So now our piston boot, our little dust boot on there is nice and flat. Why you got to let the air out of it? You have the potential for that boot to actually fold over in front of the piston. So when you get in there and you're pumping up the brakes, it could be caught between your pad and the, and the face of the piston. And then all of a sudden it rips the boot. And next time you got to do brakes, well, the caliper is garbage. Or it seizes up in the meantime. So... We'll hang that up there. Get our light back out of there. And then we'll take the bracket off. Change sockets. Ooh, this thing's hungry. 15 mils. Oh, she did it. That a girl. Oh, I think it's mean. So we'll pull our bracket off. We'll set that to the side. We can leave our bolts dangling right there. And we're gonna get the uh, screw here out of our rotor. It takes a little torx bit. What is that, baby, a T40. Hopefully it comes out. She looks a little chowdered. Oh, who am I kidding? So that's what that looks like. If it doesn't come out, just take a drill. Drill the head off it. Air hammer, chisel bit, catch it on the side, get it to spin. Either way, you don't really need it, technically. You're gonna want a pair of these for the next step. And you're gonna want a BFH will be your BFF when getting the rotor off, especially if it's rusted. We're gonna get a couple of flax. Ooh, got her on the second try. All right. Ah, good old crust. Inside of this rotor is pretty spanked. Now we're gonna clean up the face of the sub. Boy, that sucker's pretty clean. Somebody already had some gobbly gook on it. We're just gonna, oh, we probably just wire brush this one. Now we'll touch her up a little bit here. 
He's pretty clean. around the wheel studs with this link in the description people ask me about this tool it cleans around the wheel stud it doesn't clean the stud it allows you to get the rust right in this area it's a 3m tool pretty handy they last quite a while too if that's all you use it for sound for the fluid film yet. We should. It makes as, as many appearances. Makes as many as appearances. You know what I'm trying to say. As the brake clean. I'll load that up. We'll get our rotor here. From Napa. Not a sponsor of the show. Doesn't matter where you line this up because it's uh, got screw holes all the way around. When you tighten these up, just use your mind, not your muscle. Very gingerly. Torque setting one if you got a torque wrench. That's it. Whoa, stop right there. And uh, we'll brake clean this baby off. Brake clean cam. There's a couple guys' dream come true. Of course, we'll get the inside too. Get all the goo. Oh yeah. Shiny. Now we come over to Dave. Dave is our vice. We've got a pail of water here because we need to free up this caliper pin. Now at this point, you can either A, junk your caliper, or B, unfreeze it. But we do not have new rubbers for it. So these rubbers here, okay, that protect the pin, keep it from getting schmooey, seized anyways. We need to get the pin out with hopefully not hurting the rubber. So first thing first, we try to muscle it a little bit. Tighten her down and Dave. She's a tad on the snug side. All right. So we go to plan B or D. I don't remember which one we're on. I snug her up. Make sure we got a good bite on it. We do. She tight. We're going to massage it with a little bit of heat through this area using that motion, not to overheat our rubber. The old gas axe here. You really don't have to get too hog wild. You know, you don't have to make it drip. Yes, nice and toasty. That's why I break that bond. That's how you want to be. Level two. Once you get her squeaking, take her out. We're gonna dunk it in the water. Some metallurgist in the crowd is going to go berserk. 
All right, now that we've dunked it, we'll stick her back in. That's gonna keep us from melting our rubber. You ever have so much friction you melt your rubber? That's what we wanna avoid. Now that it's loose, we can actually handle it. Push our rubber back, which is in good shape still. Work it, boom, there she is. And we pay a visit to old Roger. Oh, it's got my fingers. That one's nice and shiny. Now I've seen the head of the other one is looking a little bit gross. So we want to clean off the head. So that's actually where the rubber seals is up on this top part. So, you know, get that clean. Of course, we'll uh, clean out the holes. Because that's important. Because we have to clean out this hole also. But our pin should now fit in there. Of course, it's kind of got some gunk in it. So we'll clean that out. Show you a little trick me Ma taught me. Get our bracket, get your indexed drill bit set. We want to find a drill bit that's about the same size. I'm going to guess 3 8 Such a good guesser. And then, I want to make sure it fits in there. Ooh, wrong size. We're going to go one size bigger. Whatever that is, 25 64 perhaps. You don't want to remove material, you just want to be able to get in here. That's going to be the one. We'll lock our drill bit right now, Dave. In the slot. We'll give this a little spritz. Jiggle it around. Stick that right up on there. We don't want to hurt the rubber, so make sure you don't pinch it. Now we just twirl it around. Look at that, fellas. Whee! We pull out. We'll spritz her some more. Dump it into a bucket around the floor. All right. That should be nice and cleaned out now. Blowing the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's tight. That's nice. I like it. So now that we've upset the metallurgist people from heating and cooling and the chemical people from spraying on the rubber boots, We've done made everybody mad, but your weekender that needed that tip, well, he's happy. I'll give him a little toot with the sandblaster. this one. Make sure you get the grease all the way up to the top. Like I said, that's where it seals. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of a lot of hatred over freeing up that pin, but frankly, some of these cars I work on, you know, this is, this is it. You know, this is the last year for it. This, trying to get by, you know. I'd love to quote everybody on calipers and pads and rotors all the way around every single time so you didn't have to clean up old calipers, but you just can't, fellas. It's just the way it is. You know, the rubber's in good shape, pin came out relatively easy. Now if that sucker, you know, ruined the boot, and, you know, pin was twisted and we had to heat it blood red, you know, now, you know, different story. This one wasn't seized that bad. Everything lubed up here so it doesn't get all crusty on us again. Or at least slows down the crusties. That's what we're always hoping for. But whatever you see fit, you know, you can go ahead and do. Install our new hardware. And our Napa Premium Brake Pads, not a sponsor. Nor do we really want them as a sponsor. I'll be honest with you folks. We've, you know, I've said that kind of, how do they say, tongue in cheek, I suppose. And if you think about it, if you have a sponsor, let's say this was the Self Main Auto show brought to you by Napper. I would have no choice at that point other than to tell you, like, these are the best 
Best brake pads money can buy. Your car won't stop unless you use Napa premium pads. You know, it's going to sound something like that, which could be a load of crap, and I'm not going to give you guys a load of crap. If they sell a product that's crap, and if it comes from Napa or Vance or, you know, wherever it comes from, well, I'd like to be able to tell you about it. Now, don't get me wrong. If, you know, Napa shows up, wants to sign a million dollar deal, oh, yeah, you're darn right. I'm going to tell you, their brake pads, they're nothing but the best. It's business, people. It's all just business. Not really. I won't throw you under the bus like that. Well, for a million bucks, I might. But I'm pretty sure they're not coming at me with a million dollar deal, or any deal for that matter. We'll put our caliper bracket back on. Don't worry, folks. Don't worry. I'll still tell you. Secretly. Almost twisted up a finger. Make sure to go back and torque them to factory specs. Gonna get a little grease on the caliper here. Not gonna lie, folks, the uh, tripod here that I've been using is a little bit of a pain in the hoo ha. I liked it better when you're on a tool cart. Even though this way I can whisper in your ear. That's kind of weird. I always feel like it's in my way. I'm hitting it with my hose. Why are we greasing this? Is that what you just said? Oh my god, I didn't even think I could hear you. This is because we always grease all the metal to metal contacts between caliper and friction material, obviously. You know, don't grease up between the pad and the rotor. And this cuts down on the squealing. It also cuts down on the rust and corrosion buildup, in my experience. We're going to put our top one in, leave her kind of up here and swing it on down. That way you don't make a big mess out of all the grease. Don't kill these things now. That's it. That's it, baby. Caliper should move freely, which it does. And you're done. We'll put a little, have to beat these wheels off with a sledgehammer, so we're gonna fluid film around that hub a little bit. What's up, Mrs. O? I'm back. From where? Getting your children. Back? Isn't that an ACDC song, Back in the Saddle Again? No, that's not. That's, who is that? That's Aerosmith. I don't know. Now. Maybe if you sing it a little louder, you no. can remember. Just broke my dang straw off in the hole. That sucks. What do you got there? Some quarters. Here's your pay for the week. <laughs> Ten dollars. Don't spend. I got it in quarters, so you didn't have to spend it all in one place. Sweet. What was I doing? You're distracted. I just walked in. Yeah, you come in here trying to seduce me. What was that? Going back to get on the Facebook or what? Maybe. Probably. Well, that's it, folks. That's front pads and rotors on your 2006 Ford. Freestyle. Again, I don't know if that's how they say that, but we're going with it. Pump up your brakes before you take it for a shake. Check your brake fluid. Make sure it's full. Drive it around, seat your new brake pads in however you feel necessary. And when you're back from doing that, go down in that comment box and leave your question, comment, criticism, or concern you might have. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.